Hello lovelies, welcome to the channel. Um, so first off, I do usually like to alternate my videos and I did only just do a scrapbook video, um, a art journal process and this is another art journal process but in my defence, we're in the middle of a major heat wave here in Australia and it has been so hot, too hot to go into my art room. I have been spending the day on the lounge under the fan with my boys just watching movies. I think I've done that for the past three days. It has been too hot. I did try to go in there tonight. I, I did, I managed to do something, but it's a bit of a surprise and I can't post it right now. But even then, I was just sweating so much. I can't get comfortable and you can't create when you're not comfortable. But this is an old video and when I say old, I mean August last year old. I've had this in my camera roll for a while and I just never got around to doing the voiceover and uploading it for you. So I thought instead of waiting until it was comfortable enough to create something new for you. I thought I might just share this with you as well. So this is actually an art journal page I really loved. Um, I love the colours. It was using the new Dilutions colours at the time. So I believe it was Mushy Peas and Periwinkle Blue. Periwinkle Blue I go through so much of, it's not funny. No, I use more London Blue. I was going to say maybe even more than London Blue, but that no, that's not true. London Blue is my absolute favourite and I really need some more of that. I discovered the other day. But yeah, so I've just used the packaging technique in my Dilutions journal just to um, create a background. So a lot of the time I spray ink, most of the time I spray ink, but um, yeah, I wanted to try something different. So I sprayed some uh, plastic packaging and then just used it on my journal. And I love the haphazard look you get and how you don't get total coverage when you do this. It's great if you're trying to get some white space. So yeah, just something different. And then I'm using some of my favorite background stamps. Um, that blocky looking one, a brick looking one I mean, is a Kayser Craft background stamp. I think it's one of my most used. I love that it's so random that you can use it without a block and it doesn't look weird. I find sometimes when I use stamps without a block and try not to get that perfect rectangle or perfect square, I can't make it look random, it, it sort of looks weird, but um, I love with this stamp that you can never go wrong with it. So now I want to add some black, some more black, so I've got some, um, oh, what is it, I can't pronounce it, it starts with a D, it was, a, it was an ink that I got, no it's not, it's high flow acrylic paint, that's right, I got high flows, now remember this is back from August last year so I'm trying to remember. Um, I got some high flow paint and I want to give it a test run. So I put some onto some packaging, used a lid from a container on my desk, then sprayed it with water to make it bleed and wick a bit on the page, which I loved. And then because I couldn't help myself, I thought I'd come in with some drips as well. Now, good old high flow acrylic. Um, yeah, a lot of fun. So it's a high flow paint. It's um, a very thin paint, so it does run. Really, really fun to play with, I have to admit. And then, as you can see, I'm just flapping it around on the page because we know how much I love splatters and to make a mess it's just my thing but then it just it wasn't enough so I get my dilutions black spray out and then just go to town with that I'm really good at that I have a really good technique I feel I, I really enjoy I think that's the tech I think that's the the trick to the technique you really have to enjoy the throwing of that ink and there is nothing I love more than throwing paint and ink so if you really enjoy it your technique will be flawless. So now I'm coming in with a focal image. We know how much I love a focal image and I love silhouette stencils. I cannot wait to get my hands on some of the new stencils that I've seen coming out thanks to a uh, 2019 Creativation. I love Creativation, but there's so many th pretty things that we want and there's never enough money. But anyway, so yes, this is just one of the older um, Dilutions silhouettes and then I'm coming in with some black paint and then just filling that in. So I like to have, when I have bright colours, I like to have a big, bold, generally black or solid white, sometimes, uh, focal image. So in this case, I'm going for the uh, black focal image, and I'm using the bigger of the two silhouettes. And I'm just using some paint to fill that in, and yeah, there's my nifty silhouette. Um, I love using these as focal images because it's just so easy. It's something really easy that you can use and it gives you a really nice bold you know focal point like right there in the middle of your page and also if you want the smaller one you can use the smaller one but I just love that it's so easy throw some paint through this stencil and you have yourself a really nice image and it's great if you're like me and you can't draw um, figures <laughs> to save your life things like that and magazine um, cutouts are pretty cool too so things like that are just a nice simple way to get a really nice focal image 
in your journal. And then I couldn't help myself, so I had to um, just doodle this little white heart. Sometimes I do like to doodle around it with a white pen or a paint pen. I am notorious for killing paint pens because I don't wait for them, the ink or the paint to dry. Ink you have to wait a long time for before it's recommended you use a pen, paint pen, which is why I tend to not use them. I am branching out into them a little bit lately and trying to have some patience. Le trying. Trying be the operative word. But um, I find jelly roll pens work really well no matter how wet you... Okay, how not cured your uh, background is. So I haven't yet killed one of those. So we'll see how that works. And then just adding some of the phrases from one of the um, Tim Holtz snap uh, small talk thingies. You know what I'm talking about, those little phrasings. <laughs> and that's it for the layout. Um, I hope you've enjoyed my uh, really weird voiceover. Like I said, it's really hot here. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm blaming the heat. So thanks for watching and I'll be back hopefully tomorrow with a new video if it cools down enough. Bye for now.